Have you ever been stared at by your dog and wondered, what in the world are you thinking right now? Wishing you could understand what they're thinking? If they could talk, what would they tell us? What if they are communicating, but in a way we often misunderstand? Well, what if I told you that your beloved furry friend could be quietly pleading, please stop doing that? Yes, you heard that right. There are certain things we humans do that our dogs downright despise, and the chances are, you're probably doing some of them without even realizing it, if you truly care about your four-legged companion. So if you want to avoid unknowingly annoying your fluffy best friend, or if you're just curious about canine dislikes, make sure you stay tuned. Oh, and don't forget, you might just be guilty of some of these human faux pas, the secret world of our four-legged companions deciphering the 15 things dogs hate that humans do. Is it possible you might be causing your dog stress without even realizing it? Let's dive in and unravel the mysteries behind our dog's pet peeves. Point number one, forcing dogs into uncomfortable situations. You're at a crowded party where you know absolutely no one, the music is too loud, and there's no exit in sight. Feeling overwhelmed? That's exactly how our dogs can feel when we inadvertently force them into situations that make them uncomfortable. Whether it's meeting unfamiliar faces, interacting with other dogs that they aren't comfortable with, or being brought into new environments that they haven't had a chance to adjust to, dogs can experience a range of social anxieties just like us humans. It's essential for us, as responsible pet owners, to recognize these signs of discomfort and respond accordingly. A safe and comfortable dog is a happy dog, and by respecting their space and boundaries, we're nurturing a bond of trust and understanding with them. Ever been in a situation where your dog seems antsy around certain people or dogs? Well, it's not just their random whim. It's a cry for help. Dogs, like humans, need personal space, and forcing them into uncomfortable situations can cause anxiety. Next time you're on a walk or at a party, observe your dog's body language. Is their tail tucked between their legs? Are they panting excessively? These signs could indicate fear or anxiety. Always respect your pet's personal space and emotional comfort. Point number two, disturbing their routine. Routine might sound boring to us humans who crave adventure and spontaneity, but for dogs, it's their lifeline. Dogs love predictability. They feel secure knowing when their next meal or walk will be. Imagine the anxiety you'd feel if your meals were served at completely random times. Sounds stressful, doesn't it? Ensure your furry friend has a structured daily routine. It's key to their happiness. Your regular daily routine suddenly upended without any warning. It would be unsettling, wouldn't it? For our dogs, it can be even more so. Dogs find immense comfort in the predictability of a routine. They know when it's mealtime, walk time, and when it's time for bed. These routines give them a sense of security, and disturbing them can cause unnecessary stress and anxiety. So, if you're considering a sudden change of schedule, remember that your canine friend may not share your enthusiasm for spontaneity. To them, consistency equals comfort. Point number three, unrealistic expectations. Just like you wouldn't expect a toddler to ace calculus, expecting a dog to understand and follow human norms without proper training is unfair. Dogs aren't born with knowledge of human rules. They need guidance, training, and positive reinforcement. Patience and consistency are key when training your dog. And remember, every dog learns at their own pace. Being dropped in a foreign country without understanding the language or customs and being expected to navigate seamlessly. That's akin to expecting dogs to understand and follow human rules and norms without proper training. Dogs aren't born with an innate understanding of human behavior. They need patient guidance, training, and reinforcement to learn what is expected of them. Each dog learns at its own pace and in its own way. So let's be patient, let's be understanding, and most importantly, let's respect their learning journey. Point number four, neglecting nail clipping. It might seem like a small thing, but a dog with long nails is a dog in discomfort. Long nails can alter a dog's posture and gait, leading to skeletal damage in the long run. Make nail clipping a regular part of your dog's grooming routine. It might take some getting used to, but both you and your dog will be happier for it. Do you remember a time when you wore shoes that were a size too small? Remember the discomfort, 
the pain and the relief when you finally took them off. Now imagine living with that discomfort day in and day out. That's what long, overgrown nails can feel like to your dog. Overgrown nails can cause pain, affect your dog's ability to walk properly, and in the long run, lead to skeletal damage. Regular nail trims aren't just about aesthetics, they're an essential part of maintaining your dog's health and well-being. Point number five, using harsh chemicals at home. Harsh cleaning chemicals may leave your home sparkling clean, but they could be causing discomfort to your dog. Dogs have a much more sensitive sense of smell compared to humans. Using mild, pet-friendly cleaning products can help create a healthier environment for your pet. Close your eyes and imagine being in a room filled with overpowering, nose-wrinkling smells. Unpleasant, isn't it? Now imagine being unable to escape those smells. This could be your dog's everyday experience if you're using harsh cleaning chemicals around your home. Dogs have an incredibly sensitive sense of smell, much more powerful than our own. So, something that smells clean to us can be overwhelming for them. Consider using milder, pet-friendly cleaning products to make their environment more comfortable. Point number six, inconsistency in training. Dogs learn through consistency and repetition. Sending mixed signals can confuse them and hinder their learning process. If you allow your dog to jump on you when you come home, but reprimand them for jumping on guests, it confuses them. Decide on rules and ensure everyone in the household follows them consistently. Being in a classroom where the rules constantly change and there's no clear instruction. Confusing, isn't it? This is how dogs might feel when there's inconsistency in training. One day they're allowed on the couch, the next day they're not. Consistent rules and reinforcement help dogs understand what is expected of them. Remember, patience and consistency are key to effective dog training. Point number seven, changing food too quickly. Just like us, dogs have a preferred taste and diet. However, unlike us, their digestive systems aren't always ready to take on sudden changes. Imagine one day you're enjoying your favorite pasta and the next, you're given sushi without any prior notice. Even if you like both, your stomach might protest this abrupt shift. For dogs, changing their food too quickly can lead to a myriad of gastrointestinal issues, from mild indigestion to serious conditions like pancreatitis. Our canine friends rely on us to provide a balanced and consistent diet, and while it's entirely okay to change their food, especially if it's for health or nutritional reasons, this change should be gradual. The best practice to transition your dog's diet, start by mixing a small amount of the new food with their current food. Gradually increase the new food portion and decrease the old food portion over the course of a week. This slow transition will help your dog's digestive system adjust and reduce the risk of any potential discomfort. It's also essential to keep an eye on your dog during this transition period. Watch for signs of upset stomach, such as lack of appetite, vomiting, diarrhea, or lethargy. If you notice any of these symptoms, it's a good idea to consult with your vet. They can guide you through the process and ensure that your dog's nutritional needs are being met without compromising their comfort. Switching your dog's food too quickly can lead to digestive problems. If you need to change their diet, do it gradually over a week or two. Always consult with your vet before making significant changes to your dog's diet. Point number eight, hugging too tightly. Who doesn't love a warm hug? Well, your dog might not. While humans associate hugging with love and comfort, many dogs might see it as a threat or a show of dominance. The act of wrapping your arms around their body can cause anxiety and stress. Instead of hugging, try other forms of affection that dogs understand better, like gentle petting or a soothing belly rub. Remember, love can be communicated in ways that make both you and your furry friend comfortable. While we humans express our love and affection through hugs, it can cause stress in dogs. Dogs interpret the act of hugging as a sign of dominance. A gentle pet or a belly rub is a much better way to show affection. Point number nine, loud noises. Fireworks, thunder, loud music. Such noises can be terrifying for dogs. They have sensitive ears and sudden loud noises can cause anxiety. Try to create a quiet, comfortable environment for your dog. Standing right next to the speakers at a rock concert. Overwhelming, right? Now imagine being there with ears many times more sensitive than human ears. 
That's how our dogs might feel when they're exposed to loud noises. Thunderstorms, fireworks, or loud music can be terrifying and stressful for our canine friends. Using pet-friendly noise-canceling solutions, providing a safe space for them during thunderstorms, or gradually desensitizing them to loud noises can make their life more comfortable and stress-free. Point number 10. Being ignored. Ignoring bad behavior doesn't make it go away. It reinforces it. If your dog exhibits undesirable behavior, address it immediately. Providing alternate positive behaviors and rewarding good conduct will make your dog happier and better behaved. Being excited about something, trying to share it with your friend, and being ignored. Not a good feeling, is it? Dogs are social animals. They love interacting with their human family. When you ignore them, especially during times they need attention, it can lead to feelings of loneliness and distress. Whether they want to play, go for a walk, or simply seek your company, spending quality time with your dog is crucial for their emotional well-being. Point number 11. Improper socialization. Have you ever been so bored that you started daydreaming about anything just to pass the time? Our dogs can also experience this kind of mind-numbing boredom. Mental stimulation is just as important for dogs as physical exercise. Interactive games, puzzles, learning new tricks, or simply exploring a new environment can do wonders for their mental health. Regular mental stimulation keeps your dog happy, reduces boredom-induced destructive behavior, and can even slow cognitive aging in older dogs. Remember the awkwardness of being the new kid in school or a new city. That's how dogs might feel when they are not properly socialized. It's important to expose them gradually and positively to a variety of people, environments, other dogs, and experiences while they are still young. Proper socialization helps them to grow into confident, well-adjusted adults who can handle different situations with ease. Point number 12. Scolding. After the fact. Imagine you make a mistake, but you're only reprimanded for it several hours later. You'd probably be confused, right? Well, dogs are much the same. They live in the moment and aren't capable of making the connection between something they did hours ago and the scolding they're receiving now. The term guilty look is often a misinterpretation of a dog's submissive behavior, which is a response to their owner's anger or upset tone of voice, not an acknowledgement of a past misdeed. In essence, scolding a dog long after they've committed an undesired action doesn't teach them anything, other than to fear your unpredictable behavior. If your dog has an accident or chews on your favorite pair of shoes while you're out, your disappointment upon returning won't translate into a learning moment for your furry friend. In fact, the late reprimand could even create anxiety and confusion in your dog, which could potentially lead to more undesired behaviors. Instead, focus on catching the undesired behavior as it's happening and redirecting it. For example, if your dog is chewing on something they shouldn't, calmly interrupt the behavior and offer an appropriate toy instead. Rewarding good behavior immediately can also reinforce the behaviors you want to see more of. Keep in mind that patience and consistent positive reinforcement are key when it comes to training your dog. A well-trained dog isn't just about obedience. It's also about creating a trusting and loving bond with your four-legged family member. Point number 13. Using the same command over and over. Sit, 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 sit. Does this sound familiar? Perhaps you've found yourself stuck in a cycle of repeating the same command to your dog, hoping that this time they'll finally understand what you want from them. In reality, dogs aren't wired to understand human language like we do. When we repeatedly issue the same command without any result, it's not that they're being stubborn or ignoring us. It's more likely that they haven't understood or properly learned the command in the first place. Dogs learn best through clear, consistent communication and immediate reinforcement. Repeating the same command over and over can actually dilute its meaning for your dog, causing them to become desensitized to it. It's like when you hear a word repeated so many times, it starts to sound strange or lose its meaning. This is known as semantic satiation. Instead of mindlessly repeating the command, try to ensure that you have your dog's attention first. Use the command once, and if your dog performs the action, reward them immediately to reinforce the behavior. 
If your dog doesn't respond, consider that they may need additional training to understand the command. Utilize positive reinforcement training techniques, like treats, praises, or petting to incentivize your dog. Remember, patience is key in dog training. With consistency and time, your dog can learn to respond to commands accurately. This approach not only promotes effective communication, but also strengthens the bond between you and your dog, as it builds a sense of trust and understanding. Point number 14, leaving dogs alone for long periods. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, it's inevitable that there will be times when we have to leave our dogs alone at home. However, prolonged periods of isolation can significantly impact your dog's mental and emotional well-being. Dogs are inherently social creatures. They thrive on interaction, engagement, and companionship. In the wild, dogs live in packs, constantly surrounded by family members. They hunt together, play together, and rest together. So when you leave your dog alone for extended periods, they may experience separation anxiety or loneliness. Being locked in your house, all alone, with no means of communicating with the outside world. The monotony of the surroundings, the silence of the house, and the lack of stimulation can drive anyone crazy. For dogs, it's much the same. They can't comprehend why they're alone, and they certainly can't tell time. An hour to us can feel like an eternity to them. Extended periods of loneliness can lead to destructive behavior, like chewing furniture or excessive barking. It's not them being bad. It's their way of coping with stress and anxiety. If your schedule requires you to be away from home for long stretches, there are several measures you can take to ensure your dog doesn't feel abandoned. Consider hiring a dog walker or a pet sitter, or take advantage of doggy daycare facilities. These options provide your dog with the necessary social interaction and mental stimulation they crave. Technology has also come a long way to assist us. Interactive pet cameras can allow you to check in on your dog, talk to them, and even toss them a treat, all from your smartphone. This is no substitute for human or dog companionship, but can help alleviate some of their anxiety. Ultimately, the goal is to ensure that your dog feels safe, loved, and engaged, even when you're not around. Our dogs give us their entire lives. It's our duty to ensure their lives are as enriching and comfortable as possible. Point number 15. Using too much perfume or air freshener. While the sweet, lingering scent of your favorite perfume or air freshener might be pleasing to your senses, it can have an entirely different effect on your furry companion. Dogs have a highly developed sense of smell, significantly more potent than our own. To put it into perspective, if you compare it to vision, what we can see at a third of a mile, a dog could see over 3,000 miles away just as clearly. This heightened sense of smell means that the strong odors emanating from heavy perfumes, air fresheners, or even scented candles can be overpowering and even harmful to dogs. Intense fragrances can cause discomfort, lead to headaches, and even respiratory distress. And let's not forget the potential risk of allergic reactions. Moreover, dogs use their sense of smell to understand the world around them. Dogs sniff out everything, their food, their environment, even us. This is their way of gathering information and making sense of their surroundings. When we fill their environment with artificial smells, it's like throwing brightly colored paint over a detailed painting. The individual nuances get lost, causing confusion and distress to our furry friends. Consider the use of perfume and air fresheners from your dog's perspective. Would you enjoy being in a room where every surface is covered in an overpowering scent? Probably not. Therefore, it's advisable to reduce the use of these products or opt for dog-friendly alternatives. There are pet-friendly air fresheners available on the market that can help keep your house smelling fresh without overwhelming your dog's sensitive nose. It's also crucial to ensure proper ventilation in your home. This not only helps in circulating fresh air, but also helps dissipate any strong odors that might be bothersome to your dog. Just like with every other point in this list, being mindful of your dog's experiences and their innate nature is key. If we strive to see the world from their point of view, it becomes much easier to create an environment where they feel safe, comfortable, and loved. And that, my fellow dog lovers, 
wraps up our comprehensive guide to the 15 things dogs hate that humans do. Let's strive to understand our four-legged friends better, for they offer us unconditional love and loyalty. Let's enrich their lives just as they enrich ours, every day, in every way possible. Remember, each small step we take to better their lives is a giant leap in the right direction for their well-being. Because at the end of the day, the most potent communication we can share with our dogs is not through words, but through understanding and compassion. Here's to happier, healthier lives for both you and your furry companion. Understanding your canine companion isn't about learning a new language. It's about reading their signs, respecting their boundaries, and responding with compassion and patience. Our dogs might not be able to voice their concerns in words, but their actions and behaviors speak volumes. We owe it to them to understand these signs and create an environment that's comfortable, loving, and stimulating. Next time you see Sparky hiding from the vacuum or Fido seeming unresponsive to a command, take a moment to step into their paws. Try to see the world from their perspective. Remember, they don't do what they do to upset us, but because they're just being dogs, and they deserve to be loved for exactly who they are. By paying attention to these points and modifying our behavior, we can strengthen our bonds with our canine friends even further. Because at the end of the day, nothing beats the pure joy and unconditional love that a happy and comfortable dog can bring into our lives. So let's take a pledge to understand them better and become the human they think we are. Until next time, stay positive and remember, the journey of understanding your dog is a long one, filled with fun, surprises, and loads of tail wags.